Okay, yay, they're married. Oh, are not, are, wait, Nani, did you, wait, no, keep flirting. Oh my gosh, there's so much happening right now. This is chaos. Guys, hold on. Caspian is here. Oh my God, oh my God, wait. <laughs> Hey my little rainbows and welcome back to another episode. I know this video is being posted on Christmas Eve, so just wanted to say happy holidays no matter what you celebrate. I hope everyone is having a wonderful holiday. Also just wanna say how thankful I am for all of you. I know that I have not been able to post as many videos the past couple months and you guys have just been extremely patient and kind and allowed me to take the time to heal or work on videos as well. So just wanted to say how much I appreciate you guys you guys have been such a light in my life, especially during quarantine. And I'm so, so thankful for all of you. I also have Bubbles here. He's on my lap right now. And Bubbles wants to wish you guys happy holidays too. Also, I know my uh, microphone is very visible right now. I feel like my video sound hasn't been that great the past couple videos. And until I figure that out, I'm just gonna move the mic a little bit closer to me. But in today's episode, we are going to be having Desta and Adric's wedding. We're also going to see Charles and Fallon. They are going to be having their first baby and then we're gonna go see Alice May and her friends there's gonna be a good amount of stuff happening there and then we are going to go over the story post from or that I've posted since the last episode on Instagram those are linked in the description below I will go over those later when we go see Alice May and there are two mods that I have recently downloaded that I'll show you all later as well I downloaded wonderful whims for the attraction system and then I also downloaded the chemistry system mod not chemistry like science chemistry like relationships so I'll show those to you guys later as well. So the guests are arriving for the wedding. We're going to be starting soon. I will go over a few things first. Actually first, I want to show you guys a few pictures of Corn Farm's wedding because I was taking pictures for their wedding for Dessa and Adric and then I realized that I didn't get to show any pictures for Corn Farm when their wedding was two episodes ago. So I'm just gonna like show you guys a few pictures of theirs real quick because I forgot that I normally show pictures of the couple at the wedding at the end of the wedding episode, but that was my fault for forgetting. So just wanted to show you guys them now. And then Adric and Desta's pictures will be at the end of this episode. But yeah, so we are in Salvadorada. This is where the wedding is going to be. I decided to do it here. I know that our royals have been living in Dakarai recently, but I decided to do it here. One, because the wedding venue that I picked, it was for a 50 by 50 lot and in Dakarai, Dakarai, the biggest lot is 50 by 40. And then I also just thought it made sense because Adric did grow up in Selva Dorada and this is like, the, I feel like just would mean more to him to have it here. I imagine that this lot is by, this is actually on the lot that the palace, the Selva Dorada palace was on. But I imagine that this is like just behind the palace, maybe like in the gardens or something like that. I thought it was perfect. This venue is by Claire Witch Baby. I will link the information in the description below for this build. Cornelius is just randomly doing push-ups right now. <laughs> now, before we start the wedding, I'll just give you guys a little bit of information. So I have mentioned before that Selva Dorada, or if you didn't know, because I've mentioned this in the Facts and Secrets video, but if you didn't know, Selva Dorada, when I had originally made the kingdom, a lot of the inspiration came from Nigerian culture, and then I also had little bits from Ethiopian culture, and then also bits of Moroccan. Obviously, Dakarai is inspired by Egypt. However, I decided to make the wedding mostly inspired by Nigerian culture because, again, Adric did grow up in Selva Dorada. Obviously, they're like a United Kingdom now, so United Kingdom of Salvadorada and Dakarai. So it would make sense to bring in bits of Dakarai as well, but I figured maybe we could save that for Desta and Adric's future heir, that maybe their future wedding would be more inspired by Dakarai. I'm actually going to link in the description below some pictures so you guys can see, because if you've never seen a Nigerian or Ethiopian wedding before, they're beautiful. And I definitely recommend just taking a look so you can see them in real life and like what they're supposed to look like. It's The Sims and it's not always that diverse in The Sims. So I didn't have, oh God, Kimmy's angry, um, but I didn't, have access to as many things as I would have liked. I recolored some things and I did find a few bits of custom content that was super helpful, but it still doesn't give you like the full picture of what it should look like. So definitely go check out those pictures in the video description, but I will fill you guys in a bit more and let you guys know the traditions of the wedding in a bit. We're gonna start the ceremony in just a second. Nea has just walked in 
Uh, like, I don't know why Kimmy was angry. I'm actually gonna change her into something else here. And then we also have a few new noble families here. So I will give you guys like a full overview. I'm gonna show you guys some more nobles before the debutant ball, because on the streams we've actually aged up some kids who were like kind of close to being teenagers and gave them some makeovers just so we would have more teenagers at the debutant ball. The debutant ball still isn't going to be probably for another like, I don't, we're getting closer though, maybe like five or six episodes, maybe like two episodes after Kimmy and Makana's wedding. And then Kimmy and Makana's wedding will not be next episode, but ho hopefully the one after that. I think the one after that. But you guys will get a sneak peek at some of them here. Oh, Naya and Kimmy and Arya, they're all talking here. Araminta has just walked in. Um, oh, and then, okay, so Zayori and Rin are here. I didn't have Mamie come because she's basically still a newborn. Oh, also this episode takes place like two months after the last episode. Um, but I didn't invite Mamie because she's a newborn. <laughs> so it would have looked weird with the toddler preset. She would have been standing. However, I did invite Nohea, Samarian Bellatrix's baby. So we might see him here. I have to change people. Oh, and then before we begin, uh, Diane is pregnant. So she is very, like she's in her first trimester, I believe. So she probably won't be having her baby for two episodes, but Again, Charles and Fallon are having their baby this episode. Evangeline is just getting like a ton of grandchildren very, very quickly. Um, guests are already starting to sit down and drink and eat and everything. So we'll talk about all of them later. I'll fill you guys in on them later. But let's go ahead and start the ceremony. Okay, so the ceremony is beginning now. So traditionally for the weddings, they would be very colorful. However, since Salvadorada colors, they are like dark green and white. I decided to go with more of that theme for the ceremony space and for their outfits. And traditionally their outfits do match and it's meant to symbolize like unity of the couple. So for the ceremony, the theme I went with was the dark green, white, gold and like brown, like wood. There is a stage, which is where they do get married on. And typically they would be sitting as they're getting married, but I unfortunately don't have an animation for that. So they're gonna be standing here, but they would be sitting. Also the ceremonies last anywhere between like 30 minutes to an hour. So pretend this is a lot longer than that. We're not gonna do that, but pretend this is a lot longer. There's also a, like they invite everyone. So it can be anywhere from 200 guests to a thousand guests for the wedding. There's only like 60 Sims here that were invited but imagine that there are like a lot more people. I mean, really for all the weddings, there would be like a lot more people, especially because they're just like royal weddings. And usually they do invite the entire community. It's like an open invitation. For the royal weddings in general though, we wouldn't really do that just because they are royalty and you don't just want to invite anyone because you don't know what intentions some guests might have, but it would be a very big wedding. And then also the bride and groom assign colors to their families to wear, like different colors for them to wear. So I have on desk decide, I mean, family wise, or actually her parents are both here. We saw them during their engagement machinima, but her parents are Tamara and Gideon. That's really the only family I have in game. Imagine Desta has other family too, but I'm also putting Natalia and Bellatrix on her side because they're her friends. Even though Natalia is engaged to Adric's brother, Natalia and Desta are very close friends. So for Desta's side, I have them assigned a blue. So like some light blues and teal. And then for Adric's side, I have for Zamora, Sissy, Jabari, and Elon, it's white and gold slash yellow. Then for the ceremony, they would also actually cut their cake during the ceremony as opposed to during the reception. So that's kind of how they're going to end the ceremony because for a traditional wedding, they wouldn't kiss at the ceremony. But the cake cut during the ceremony is supposed to symbolize rice and sweet happiness. But yeah, they're married now and they're super cute. I love Adric and Desta. Uh, but yeah, okay, so they're, they're all mingling now after the ceremony. But they're going to have their honeymoon in Mount Komorebi. I thought that was fitting for them. I know we've been doing a lot of things in Mount Komorebi, but um, I thought that was fitting for them because especially Desta, she's super adventurous. So I figured she would enjoy the like rock climbing and stuff as well, or mountain climbing. So that's kind of why I thought it was a good place for them, but um, she might be pregnant by the next episode. So we'll see. Okay, we should serve some food. And yeah, traditionally for the weddings, it's just like a lot of fun, music, obviously bright colors too, we got that. Let me, let me, well, did we hire a DJ? Hire staff, we should do that, so we'll hire a DJ. Look, it's Iori. Oh my God, she's walking. She's so cute. Um, She does have a while until she ages up into a kid. Not that, like, not that long. Maybe, maybe, will she be a child by the Debbie Jean Ball? She might be. A lot of people have been asking when Cedric's going to age up. 
not for a while guys he's still ha i think he's only like i don't even think he's halfway through his bar yet for the uh what is it called halfway through his child bar for the life stage thing okay yeah he's only 28 days out of 52. and then also because of alice may's story because i'm like taking more time and making it a detailed story they are going to be aging up not as fast as usual so just be patient with me guys cedric is supposed to be four years younger than alice may so he's not going to be aging up i, I mean honestly probably for like another maybe maybe 10 episodes like the earliest 10 episodes They're, like i swear half of you guys want him to stay a child and the other half wants him to age up he's on my gallery if you guys want to download him and just age him up and see him for yourself my gallery id is in the description below but yeah you, you guys have to be patient he's not going to age up honestly and probably until alice may like the main stuff of her story until that's over but that's good because once all the dramatic stuff of alice may's story happens then I'll have more time to spend on other characters, including Cedric. I won't be spending as much time on him as like I've mentioned before that I'll only spend like the big stuff and spend a lot of time on the heirs and the monarchs and he's not an heir or a monarch, but we'll get to see him a bit more later on. But we have Zamora here, our gorgeous Dowager Queen. We have, who do we have here? Let's see. Oh, this is Desta's dad. This is Gideon. Diana, Diana's pregnant as I mentioned, so. About two episodes, we'll say she'll have her baby. Oh, Julia is glitching in the wall. Okay, Araminta, Amira, Evangeline. Evangeline's so excited for all her grandchildren. Rin, and let's see, who do we have? Oh, this is one of the nobles, toddlers. This is Lady Kenya. Again, you guys will, I'll, I just wanna save it to officially introduce them in a later episode. And that's when we'll see all the other teens that are going to be at the debutante ball as well. I just want to do it closer to the debutante ball so that's way it's like more fresh in everyone's memory. Also, oh my goodness. Okay, everyone's around the dance floor. This is cool. Oh, we have Sissy here. Okay, so I am cheating it for Sissy because I know that Sissy and Cedric, they had their birthday party together. Also, I have to add because people keep saying this, just a reminder that Cedric and Sissy, Sissy is Cedric and Alice May's cousin. Because people keep, seem to be forgetting that a little bit. But since we like didn't officially know when Sissy was born because Zara came barging into Cayman's birthday party to introduce her. Oh, and hello, the lights are on, okay. Um, And she was a toddler then. I imagine that she is older than Cedric. And she was because I remember checking when it was her birthday and she was supposed to age up like a while ago, but for some reason she just didn't age up automatically. Her age was past the age of the toddler lifespan, I believe. So I wanna say she's like two years older than Cedric, or maybe like a year and a half younger than Alice May. And I'm sure she gets along with both of them. It's just hard to picture them when like the age stages are such a difference visually. But anyway, my point of that is I'm gonna age up Sissy right before the debutante ball. So she will be there. I know this is all kind of complicated and I know I've changed some things. It's hard trying to match things with like the game and what we've been playing and matching that with my now detailed story. Cause people are curious about like everyone's ages and stuff and it's, it's hard to give an answer sometimes. So for that purpose, I have to switch around a few things. Sometimes for story purposes, I have to age up someone early or make sure they're not aged up for a while. So we'll see Sissy as a teen in several episodes. And I'm so excited for you guys to see her. But it looks like people are having a lot of fun here. I I mean, they, they were dancing and like jamming out and stuff. You know what I just realized? I don't see Alice May. I don't see anyone from the Sulani royal family. They were definitely invited. I made sure to check. Pretend they are here though. We will pretend they are here. But yeah, they're jamming. If Desta, our beautiful bride. And then, oh, and then her dad too. Her parents must be so, so happy. Okay, yay, they're married. They'll be going on their honeymoon. But now we're going to skip to the next day and go to Fallon and Charles so they can have their baby. Okay, so we're now in Windenburg with Fallon and Charles and Evangeline too. Ava is here. I figured she would be here to like help. Oh, she's still in the outfit she wore at the wedding. Um, but I figured she would be here to help. It's kind of how like my grandmother was like every, like she has four kids. So every time a kid was like having a child, she would like go stay with them for a little bit and help out with them. So I just figured Ava would do the same thing. Okay, oh my gosh, Ava's, wait, hold on. Ava's playing video games. Charles is playing video games too. Actually on the stream, we were kind of joking around and saying, we're like, I feel like Alice May, I don't usually make reference 
references to real world stuff in the series because it's supposed to be like its own alternate universe, like a fantasy world, not our world. But we were saying that I feel like Alice May would play like Animal Crossing. I honestly feel like Alice May would play The Sims and probably like Pokemon or something. But we were saying that Charles was probably the one who introduced her to Pokemon. And I just think that's like the cutest thing ever. Like out of all of them, out of all her aunts and uncles, it would definitely be Charles the one to introduce her to it. So that was just a little thing. I think it's so cute that Ava is playing video games right now. Okay, Fallon is now in labor. Um, let's go, let's have, no, ask baby's due date. It's due right now. Ask, no, stop, don't mop, you're in labor. Okay, have baby at hospital, uh, send alone. Although, oh, I guess Ava wouldn't technically be going with them, but that's fine. Also, it says C Fallon. That's supposed to stand for Countess Fallon. Also, Amira is jogging by. Um, hello? Wait, Evangeline, go talk to Amira. Hi, Amira. Wait, come back. Uh, I think she, I think she jogged away. I was gonna ask her to hang out. Evangeline was gonna ask her to hang out. Are you gonna make it? Are you gonna make it while she's jogging? You are. Okay, yay. Oh, and then also, so some couples that have had their baby, Akio and Azumi had their baby. They had a boy. His name is Prince Yuzuru. So their oldest son, if you forgot, his name is Prince Kato. But now they have two boys, Prince Kato and Prince Yuzuru. And that's probably all they're going to have. And then Lord Maxwell and Lady Journey, they had a girl and her name is Lady Colette. But okay, so Charles and Fallon, they had a girl. So I'm going to go with the name Cambridge. I know it's uh, uh, like there's Cambridge in the UK and Windenburg is based off of the British royal family and everything. And there is also the Duke of Cambridge, of course. So it's kind of paying tribute to that a little bit. But one of my viewers name is Cambridge and she suggested it. And I really do think Charles and Fallon would like that name a lot. So Lady Cam, is that gonna fit? La oh yes, it does. Okay, Lady Cambridge Windenburg. That sounds so cool. I love that name. Um, okay, okay, so they have a boy, so they have twins, um, which makes perfect sense, Charles is a twin. But we're going to name him, L I'm gonna name him Felix. So Felix, I also think it's cute because it's like Charles and Cambridge, so the two C's, and then Fallon and Felix, so the two F's. Okay, so we have Cambridge and Felix. They are twins, they're floating, they're floating. Also genetics are still broken in the game. They just did a hot fix after the big um, skin tone update and it was supposed to fix the Sims gym, uh, gym, gym, gym genetics, sorry, genetics, um, but apparently it didn't. But once they are aged up and in the preset, the, the toddler size preset that I have by Redhead Sims, I will share a picture with you guys in the next episode. And then in the next episode, I will show you guys a picture of Charles and Fallon with their twins, Cambridge and Felix, and yay! Okay, and then yeah, well, Amira was hanging out here. I'm sure they'll have the family over, but we're going to go ahead and leave them here, and we're going to go see Alice May and her friends. All right, we're now in Sulani with all of our teens. I actually, so we've been here before when they were all kids, which I think is really cute because that's when we discovered Frederick and Jessica had crushes on each other, but it was supposed to be an ice cream place. And I didn't realize that there was ice cream that comes with the cool kitchen stuff pack. So I got the pack and now we have ice cream. There are these little ice cream makers. So I didn't realize that it's something that your Sim actually makes. I feel like Cleo would complain about this, that he had to make his own ice cream. What kind of ice cream would he have? Vanilla, pistachio, uh, let's go with pistachio. Um, so I'm going to have them all here. So we're here in Sulani because, I'm sorry, I didn't explain anything. Um, Alice May would have chocolate. But we're here in Sulani because in Alice May's story, she's turning 15. Alice May's actually the youngest one. If you're curious right now, Kaleo is 15, Molly Grace is 15, Jessica's 15, Nani is 15, and then William and Kellen, oh not, oh God, not Kellen, no. <laughs> William and Frederick are 16. And Makai is chaperoning them. They're all at the Mermaid Palace, but they wanted to go out. They're teenagers now, they can go out. I'm sure there's bodyguards around, but they can go out and get ice cream. And before I like tell you why they're here, let me first go over some story stuff. I'll go over the story posts that I have posted. I'm not gonna go in depth with them, but they're all linked below so you can go read them yourselves. So in the last episode, you guys saw we had our Royal Winter Ball. So I did a few posts, one taking place before the Winter Ball. So for this post, it was Kaleo, William, and Minerva getting to the Winter Ball early and meeting Benji for the first time. And Kaleo was just making a sassy remark about Benji's name. And Kaleo was just paranoid and he's like, why is she still acting like she's mad at me? Like what's going on? There's something going on, I don't understand. And then the next post was, there was two parts to this one. It was at the Winter Ball and it was Molly Grace 
meeting, you guys saw in the last episode, meeting Graham for the first time and Alice May like introducing them and Kaleo wanting to dance with her. So that was two parts. And the post after that was the day before the Windenburg Royal family were supposed to leave for their tour. Cause I mentioned before that they were going on tour and then having a holiday as a family so they can spend time together and everything. So they went to Guangxi, but in this post, it was the day before they left and it was Caspian and Alice May. Alice May had asked Caspian to go with her to the markets to get Cedric a birthday present. And then the paparazzi saw them there and then the paparazzi assumed they were dating. So then it just blew up into this whole thing. But then the next day, Alice May left for tour with her family. So this next post was while she was away and it was Kaleo discovering the tabloids that said Alice May and Caspian were dating and he like threw a fit. He was saying all this stuff about Caspian. He was gaslighting Alice May. Jabari, as you guys know, has never really liked Kaleo and was like getting upset about that too. But Alice May was just like, no, it's fine. I can handle it. But Amira was just like, if Kaleo's making you upset, just put your phone away for the night. And then I didn't show this, but the next day Alice May was just like, she didn't respond to Cleo. So the next day Alice May was just like, look, can we drop it? Cleo was just being jealous for a lot of reasons, but we'll see more later. And they talked like a, a few times while they were away on tour. But then the next post was Caspian getting stopped on the streets by these two random guys who were being jerks. I'm not gonna get too detailed in this one, but basically Caspian got upset about something that one of the guys said and punched him and made sure he knew not to say anything like that about Alice May again. And then the last post was of Caspian and Nia and Caspian coming back after he had just hit the guy. And Caspian, he regretted it, but I mean, he like couldn't help himself after what the guy said. And he kind of saw it as a bit of a threat to Alice May as well. But Nia just told him like, look, you have to be careful. Like if we were to get a bad image or reputation, like there's a chance that she could lose her job. If your reputation also got damaged, then there's a chance you wouldn't be able to see Alice May anymore either. So yeah, those were all the story posts. Caspian and Alice May, they just, they, like, they would text and randomly call every once in a while while they were away. They still have crushes on each other, but, oh, sorry. Are they eating their ice cream now? Or are they just chatting? They're just chatting. I don't know what happened to their ice cream. Did you guys eat your ice cream? I did not see you eat it. Go back. Uh, well, what happened to your, did you, are you sure you ate your ice cream? I don't see anything about that on here. I just want to see it. I've never, this is the first time I'm seeing the ice cream maker thing. But anyway, for Alice May's birthday, I think she just wanted to do something small with her friends, but I think she was going to do it at the Windenburg Palace and she wanted to invite Caspian. And I feel like as soon as she said that, Kaleo might have been like, no, you should just stay in Sulani for the weekend. Like just come to Sulani, that's fine. Cause he doesn't want Caspian there. And then Alice May was just like, she, she agreed. She didn't want to make him upset. Alice May is a people pleaser. It's really hard for her to say no to things. So she agreed, now they're in Sulani. Also Molly Grace and Graham, they have been hanging out and talking a bit. It's been a little over a month since they met each other at the ball. So they've gone on like a few dates. I promise we will see them in the next episode. I just didn't have time to focus on them in this episode, but we will see them in the next episode. But before Alice May had left, so we'll say that they have like already celebrated her birthday. We're not gonna do like a cake or anything like that. You guys just know they're here to celebrate her birthday. But you know those bracelets that match the dog collars? I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I've seen these before where it's like, they have the bracelets that have the same design as the dog collars and they're really, I think they're adorable. They're really cute. So I kind of think Caspian might've gotten Alice May and Benji one of those. I don't have one for Benji yet, but I'm gonna recolor this so it does match for his collar. Um, but we'll, we'll say that it was like, like this. Like they, they have like little fun designs, um, but they're like pretty big and bulky because it's supposed to match the collar. So yeah, I feel like Caspian might've gotten that for her for her birthday. Something small, something cute. They still haven't admitted their feelings to each other. And I'm sure they both get really nervous around each other. So. I don't think they know how, but I think Alice May also wants to tell him how she feels. Also, wait, hold on. You didn't get ice cream. I'm so confused right now. Yeah, I even got an ice cream maker, <laughs> like the pack for the ice cream maker and apparently they still can't get ice cream. All right, that's fine. Pretend they're eating ice cream right now. Um, but Caspian's actually in Sulani. He's here for the weekend visiting his dad. He actually lives like really close by. So I'm honestly not gonna be surprised if we run into them. Um, And then I think that her, Oh my God, wait, 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 <gasps> no, okay. So you guys didn't see this in an episode. Oh my God, I didn't even do anything. I didn't call her here, um, but you guys didn't see this in an episode. But remember when I mentioned that they went salsa dancing on the teens and Nani saw this girl at the club and she thought she was really, really attractive, but Nani didn't actually end up going to talk to her. Um, well, hello, she's here right now. <laughs> this right here, this is Malia. Um, and I can imagine right now Nani is probably like, oh my God, oh my 
god, oh my god, that's her. I bet you too that like, especially Jessica, I bet you that they would be like, go talk to her, go talk to her right now. I wonder if Jessica would go with her to talk. Okay, yeah, no, she would definitely like, she already missed her opportunity before. She would definitely go talk to her. So, um, hello, hi, friendly introduction. <gasps> Go Nani, go. Jessica's gonna go with you because I, I I think Nani would be too shy to go by herself. I swear, I was like it, kind of hoping she would be here and I was like, can we summon her if she's not here? But literally she was here without me doing anything. She's just here. Is this a produce stand? Order food. Oh, it's a, okay, it's a food. I didn't even know that was there. Go, oh my, look, wait, hold on. She's so energized, she's so confident. Oh my God. That's not what I pictured. I thought she would be a little bit shy. Okay, she's waving. She's like, hi. Um, I think I've seen you before. Oh wait, hold on. <gasps> okay. Oh my gosh, <gasps> guys! I'm so I'm getting so excited. Um, so I got I mentioned before I got the wonderful whims mod for the attraction system. I am linking both of those in the description below. The wonderful whims mod and the um, chemistry system mod. Anyway, I got the attraction system and look at this. Okay, so it says, "Wow, what a sim!" Lady Nani just stopped what uh, just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Malia. Oh my God, this is. So so great! That woman has so many of the qualities that make Lady Nani's heart race as if they were cross-country marathon. Their beautiful features meet Lady Nani's desire to readily, that is almost as if whatever created, wait what? Created such a sim sculpted her specifically for them. Oh, okay. Now the only thing left to do is pick up their jaw and work up the courage to speak to such an Aphrodite. Hopefully Malia will be kind enough to reciprocate Lady Nani's feelings. That is Perfect, that is so great. I'm so excited. But Nani's talking to her now. So she was in Brindleton Bay. Uh, let's, let's start flirting. But she was in Brindleton Bay and Nani's gonna be learning about this. But I imagine that she like lived in Brindleton Bay for a couple years and then she is now moving back to Sulani. So she's from Sulani. She has a Sulani tattoo actually. Oh my God, Jessica is like, Jessica be hype, be hype for her. Kaleo is sad, envious. What, no, because of Nani? Gosh, she's always, they're all so in character. This is like so, so perfect. Okay, oh, Jessica was like, okay, I'll leave you guys alone. And is going back to the group and probably like watching them and shipping them so hard, right? Oh wait, what is happening here? Oh gosh, oh, okay, Molly Grace's dress is glitching a little bit. Yeah, look at Jessica just staring. Look at Nani, she speaks so, <gasps> wait, guys, hold on, Caspian is here. <laughs> um, Yeah, okay, so like his, I because I, I said he was um, staying at his dad's for the weekend. His dad's house is like right over, he lives like uh, on that hill. I think it's up there. It's the lot somewhere up there. Um, but I don't know if Alice May knew that and I don't think Caspian knew that Alice May was here. Well, I don't know. They text each other. Where's his dad? I don't, if, if his dad is here, maybe him and his dad were like coming here together anyway. I don't know if, oh wait, that's his dad. His dad's over there. Oh my gosh. Maybe him and his dad were out and they were nearby. And they found out that they were like near each other and Alice May was like, oh, come say hi. Um, And he came over to say hi. Well, ask about day, I guess. Oh wait, no, was he around? Is that why Kalea was jealous? Did he just sense Caspian's presence? Oh my God, oh my God, wait. <laughs> Caspian literally like went over to talk to Alice May and walked right in front of Kalea. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, all right. I really don't think Kaleo would say anything in front of everyone, like all of their friends. Oh, or, or, wait, Nani, did you, wait, no, keep flirting. Oh my gosh, there's so much happening right now. This is chaos. Okay, Nani, flirt, whoa. Guys, their friendship, look how high it is. They're getting along so well. Um, exchange numbers, at least exchange numbers first. And then they'll, they'll have a date. We'll, we'll go on like little dates in the next episode with Molly Grace and Graham too. Oh my God, wait, Kaleo is angry. Wait, hold on, wait. Look at Kaleo just like. <laughs> Fists clench, boiling in anger. I, I don't, I think he would like walk away. Like, I don't, I really don't think he would say anything in front of everyone. I think this is honestly just like fueling Kaleo's rage. Also, I think William will probably go check on Kaleo. Okay, oh no, wait, oh Caspian, oh, okay. Well, Kaleo, oh, he, wa he walked to the side. But Caspian was probably like, I, I have to go like back to my dad. Like they, they probably just said hi for a little bit, but he probably had to go back to hang out with his dad because he is spending time with his dad this weekend and 
obviously asked me spending time with her friends, but that was an interesting interaction. And then Nani is still talking to Malia over here. Oh, Jessica didn't get a chance to talk to Caspian. I was, I've been saying before that Jessica's probably like waiting to see Caspian again so she could be like, when are you gonna ask Alice May out? But she didn't actually get a chance to talk to Caspian this time. She was, oh, she was probably too busy just with Nani and oh my God, do you know how upset she'd be? She was probably busy with Nani and Malia. And then she finds out that, wait, like Caspian was here for a second? Even though I know she was like right next to him, but she didn't say anything. She might not have realized. She probably would have been so disappointed. She's like, I missed my chance. Oh, but real quick. So um, the chemistry system, I don't know how into it I'm going to be able to get here, um, but for the chemistry system, so it's the chemistry system by the pancake one. So you can add your Sims preferences for like traits and stuff. So for Alice May's, um, so it's got positive and negative for Alice May, she has eight active. Um, so this is what she's attracted to and not attracted to for the traits that someone else has. So not attracted to people who hate children, attracted to people who are neat, um, not attracted to evil sims, um, somewhat attracted to dog lovers, somewhat attracted to goofballs, uh, attracted to people who are self-assured, attracted to people who are laid back, uh, somewhat attracted to people who are hilarious, definitely attracted to people who are good. She likes people who can dance. She doesn't like bros. <laughs> I just think that's a thing for Alice May. She doesn't like bros. And then, okay, yeah, tiny, tiny bit genius, jealous, doesn't like mean, doesn't like erratic. I'm still playing around with it and trying to figure it out. Oh, oh, but before before we end, hold on. So I think some, okay, some of Caspian's traits got deleted because I had custom traits. I had protective and I think he had laid back, but that's not showing up. But from the attraction system in the Wonderful Whims mod says that Alice May thinks Caspian is extremely attractive. I'm pretty sure it says the same thing, um, Caspian to Alice May, and that they have wonderful chemistry. So like what you guys saw earlier with Nani and Malia, I had that show up for Caspian and Alice May when I got the mod um, during a stream. So we saw that. It says lovebirds. Again, they haven't admitted their feelings to each other, but their romantic relationship is there. But they have sentiments for each other too. It says deeply connected. So Princess, uh, Princess Alice May has a powerful bond with Caspian that is a source of strength and comfort. And I thought that was so sweet because like, after what she's been through and how much support he had given her. So I thought that was like so perfect for them. But okay, so we're gonna end this episode here. So let me know your thoughts on everything on Adric and Dusty's wedding and I'll have pictures in just a moment as well. Let me know if you're super excited for Charles and Fallon's twins. We've got Cambridge and Felix. Let me know your thoughts on this whole chaotic interaction here in Sulani with Alice May and Kaleo and Caspian and Nani and Malia and Jessica just matchmaking everybody. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone and happy holidays.